You're watching 13 on your side. Good afternoon, I'm Kirk Montgomery. Two young girls who were missing from St. Joseph County have been found and are safe. Police believe their mother, who does not have custody, had taken them. 11-year-old Jessica Tucker and 6-year-old Alexandra Prewitt went missing around 1230 yesterday afternoon. Police believe the girl's biological mother, Samantha Prewitt, took them. She lost rights to her daughters and had recently threatened to take them as they played outside. Police have not yet confirmed if it was the mother who did take them or if she is in police custody. Several area fire departments responding to an agriculture fire at a farm in Marne earlier today. When they arrived at Burdick Beef Farm on 16th Avenue, they discovered a feed mill was smoldering. The deputy chief fire, uh, fire says that they were able to put out the smolder. He also says there was no damage to the building and no one was hurt. He did not say what caused that fire. Now to the latest on the COVID-19 pandemic. The CDC has added six more Michigan counties to its list of those at a high transmission level for the virus. These counties include Calhoun, Kalamazoo, Mason, and Oceana counties. Now, when counties are at a high transmission level, the CDC recommends masking indoors while in public, regardless of vaccination status. However, anyone with symptoms, a positive COVID-19 test, or exposure to someone with COVID should wear a mask no matter where they live. Plenty still to do at the Coast Guard Festival today. The carnival starts at 2 o'clock. Wristbands are about $30. Then at 4, the National Coast Guard Memorial Service starts. It's a tribute to members who have died in the line of duty during the year. And free Coast Guard ship tours are taking place until 3 o'clock this afternoon. A complete update for you later this afternoon starting at 5. Until then, enjoy the rest of your day.